What's with all that water? <laughs> oh, these. Um, these are my eight glasses of water a day. Didn't you know you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water every day? Hmm. Let me look at a few studies. So clearly, water is important stuff. It delivers nutrients, it flushes out waste, it helps cells maintain their shape. It lubricates our joints and it helps to regulate body temperature. It also keeps our brains working at full capacity. According to a 2018 study, two hours of vigorous gardening in the sun without drinking can be enough to impair our cognitive functions. But do we really need eight glasses a day, no matter what? And where does this figure even come from? So apparently it dates back to 1945 when the US Food and Nutrition Board of the National Research Council, that's a long word, published dietary guidelines that recommended consuming one milliliter of liquid for every calorie of food consumed. That adds up to two liters of water a day for those on a 2000 calorie diet. But the guidelines were misunderstood because that recommendation included all of the fluids in fruits and beverages. It wasn't just about drinking water. In fact, much of our water intake comes from the food we eat. Population surveys from France and the UK found that food accounts for around 30 to 35 percent of moisture intake. The 2 liter recommendation wasn't just misunderstood. Over time, it was simplified into 8 glasses of around 250 milliliters each. Many bottled water companies even capitalized on the misconception. How much topping up we actually need varies considerably. For people with a history of kidney stones or bladder infections, the data supports aiming for 2 liters a day. But for everyone else it varies. I mean it's true, how can one particular recommendation be good for everybody? If you're bigger, if you're more active, and if it's hotter outside, you are going to need more. The answer to how much more comes from an often ignored line in the original 1945 report, which stated that sensations of thirst usually serve as adequate guides to intake except for infants and sick persons. Our bodies are set up to take care of this without the need to count glasses. The gene that governs water balance, it's been conserved in nature for 700 million years. It's in worms, it's in insects, it's in every mammal out there. The main hormone that governs water balance is the antidiuretic hormone vasopressin or AVP. In mammals, AVP participates in a feedback loop between the brain and the kidneys, so that when the body loses water, AVP is secreted by the brain, which signals the kidneys to produce less urine. Thirst is activated once the kidneys have conserved all the water possible. If we drink more water than we need, then the brain stops the production of AVP and more urine is produced and we spend a lot more time in the bathroom. So instead of counting glasses, drinking when you are thirsty is far simpler. Mm. You can tell this is my second video and um, I forgot to say thank you so much for watching and if you like this video it would be great if you could leave a comment, um, a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you!